Okay, today we're going to start off with introducing you to two techniques that are used in creating flip charts. Flip charts are the name of your end result of using the software program called Active Inspire, which coincides with the Promethean board. As you can see, I already have Active Inspire open. So, what I'm going to explain in the first part of this is how to create a container and have containers, or multiple containers that is. And in these multiple containers, they will only allow certain answers to be correct. So, for example, if we say container number one is North America, container number two is Africa, and container number three is Asia, then you can have those only accept the words that are the name of countries that fit in those continents. As a teacher, you want to make it so that it's interactive and kind of interesting for your kids. They come up here and they drag them to the correct location and then they fit in the containers that are proper and if it's the wrong, if they try to put, let's say, Japan in North America, it will pop back out. Therefore, letting them know that that country does not belong in that continent. Now, no further ado, no more explanation. I'm going to go through the steps so you'll be seeing the board and not me. Okay, we are going to start off with developing the different containers. So to start with, let's go over here to the right and make sure we get our shapes. Before you start on the shapes though, let me remind you of this icon up here. It's blue or orange. It will always say design mode when you roll your mouse over it. However, keep in mind that the orange one is the actual designing mode. So right now, in the process of developing this, you want to be in design mode. Make sure that's orange when you start. Now it's my personal suggestion to name it before you start doing anything else. So you go to file and save as. And I'm just going to save it to my desktop. And I will name this one containers container activity. Okay, now we're ready to go. I click over here on the shape and I see these a variety of shapes. What I'm going to go with today will be this one right here. It's a rectangular shape and I want to go rectangular long. Um, something like that. That looks like it'll work for me. And I like to make the appearance a little bit different. So I go over here to my page browser, click on that, and it's just set one of the options is under the outline and the fill. So it shows me that it's a solid color. Just to be different, I'm going to select gradient, and the type of gradient will be vertical, and I'll make the top part of it a light blue. I just like to be different. So I'm going to show you a little, add a little few techniques to this uh, beyond the actual use of the container. So that looks about right. I don't like the border, so let's get rid of the border and just change it to white. It still has a border, it's just not visible because the background is white. I want all of my containers to be the same size. The only absolute way you can do that is to right click it and duplicate. So I want three containers, so I'm going to duplicate them three times, or two more times, that is. These are going to contain nouns, adverbs, and verbs. The first one, I'm going to make that my nouns. So I go over here to my T, click on the T, and I'm going to name this one nouns. Okay, I need to move it up a little bit. Just 
click over here and say these are going to be adverbs. And last but not least, click over here and type in verbs. I try to line them up as best as possible about what looks about right. Um, there is an alignment tool, but I will not get into that right now. The main objective is, of this is to show you how to make the containers function properly and not get a headache in the process. So something I like to do is I like to connect my container and my word. So the title of it and the container. I hold my con control key down if I'm using a PC, command fear using a Mac and select the next one. When you have those two selected right click and group. Now I'm going to go over here click control or command and click the, the container itself right click group. Click into the white area. You don't want to click on this after you've done that you click on the white so you can disconnect to that. Control or Command key and select the second part. Right click and group. Okay, there we have these together. See, so when I want to move them around, I can have them move along with the title. So, now what we want to do is to come up with Let's just come up with about six words, two per box, just for the sake of learning the functions of this. So let's say quickly. It sounds like a useful word that could fit within one of those boxes. Let's go with a bike. And Let's go brightly. I'll move it over to here, over to this side. And now, let's pick a color. Uh, it's another. Let's pick a grass. I was thinking green, which made me instantly think of grass. And then fast. That goes along with quickly and bike. Now, in addition to always making sure that this is in design mode, also frequently save. So you named it at the beginning. So all we have to do is file save or command save or control save, depending on if you're using a PC or Mac. Now, we need to set do the settings for the boxes the containers so I click on the nouns one and in my make sure that you selected this browser in the middle the properties property browser collapse everything this type is called if you re, as I said a keyword container activity so it can contain keywords What's the keyword for nouns? Well, let's just let's make the life easier on ourselves and call it nouns. Reward sound false, completely contained. Leave that as is. Return if not contained, false. The box is not going to return anywhere. This will this will be set to true when we're on the words, but not on the boxes or the containers. So now that I'm on adverbs, what do I want to do? I want to tell it that it can contain keywords. Once again, let's make life simple for ourselves. Adverbs, maybe spelling it right will be important. I'm pretty sure it will. And leave those as false. Then our verbs, last but not least. And I I collapse everything just because I want to focus on this one area only. It contains keywords. The keyword will be verbs. 
Notice sometimes I click Add a second time and then hit OK. That doesn't do any harm. Now all of these will have one thing, all of the words will have one thing in common. And we won't set that yet until we hit Command or Control S, which is a quick save. Now let's just draw an invisible square or rectangle around those. So it'll select them all. And the one thing that's going to be true about them all will be this. Return if not contained. True. And then, and we're not going to change anything else in the container part. So let's go ahead and collapse it. What we need to do is give it an identification. A keyword identification. So let's pick bike. Hold your control key or command key if you're using a Mac and grass. We know those two are nouns. So what's our identification going to be? Let's make sure we go back to the top. Identification, keyword. Hit the triple dots. Add nouns. Okay, then click on the white area. Select quickly. Hold your control key or command if you're using Mac and select brightly. Notice that it looks like it's selecting fast also. It is not. It's the only counts the ones that you actually clicked on while you were holding your control key or your command key down. So as those two are selected, those, we know that those are adverbs. So let's go to the identification and say let's add adverbs and then we want to pick fast and orange because we know that those two are going to be verbs command s or control if you're using bc change this to blue now let's check it out. So we say, we tell the kids to come up here. Quickly, where does it go? Nouns? Oh, it took it back. I guess quickly is not right. Well, let's try quickly in adverbs. It's the next box over. It accepted it. That, so that's how you're showing them that it's correct. And then they try orange for the verbs. Let's try. Ah, it worked. And the bike for, what's bike? Wait, fast sounds like a verb because it doesn't have L-Y. So, well, but maybe it's just a noun. I don't know. Oh, nope. Yep, yeah, I was right the first time. Let's stick with verbs. Then your grass is green. Grass is green. Green. That's a color. That must be a verb. Nope. No. It's a noun. And then bike noun and brightly is where do we go noun nope adverb it's got the ly and that's how you do it when you have one student that has come up to do this you can go quickly right over here and give another student the opportunity because you're going to have if you're teaching elementary especially and even middle school the kids they all want let me come up let me co let me come do it let me come do it you click on this right here and it resets and it puts all the words back that's it for our keyword container exercise i hope that was helpful